tired of almost having no outfits to choose from want to have more agencies to choose from with more detailed outfit and more customization hello welcome to a brand new video on the channel my name is student this is the fourth video in the series if you haven't already watched all videos in the series i would recommend you doing that in this video we're going to be uh, installing two menus we recommend you install both they'll give you more outfit options and more agencies to choose from as you see up on the screen requirements are that you have lsp force quick v rates plugin up gta5 i will show you how to get those in the other videos in this series how to install lsp4 how to install lsp4 plugins and how to install lsp4 callouts or the previous videos in this series so today we're gonna install three things the first menu is eup menu eup menu is a separate menu it's f4 you click and then it will bring you to a menu where you customize your outfits then we're gonna install eup law and order or emergency uniform pack law and order uh, that's basically the different outfits you can customize from so if you have law and order you get the police you get the sheriff you get uh, the fbi with only the menu you only have the menu you don't have any outfits so the first thing we're going to be downloading is eup menu go down in the description until you find the eup link scroll down a little bit until you see this download this file the blue one click on that then uh, the download terms will pop up read through those if you want and then click agree and download if you agree to them then you'll come over to this screen and it will start downloading the next thing we're going to install is the eup law and order which are the police outfits and sheriff outfits to the eup menu go down into the epfr link scroll down a little bit until you see this blue download file on the right here click on that okay so then this screen will pop up click uh, on the one that is eup l o dot o i v click on download here to the right then it will come to this site and it will start the downloading if you're gonna install the epm and you on order you have to have open iv which i recommend you having go down in the description and find the open iv link and then you'll come over to this site click download now then it will start downloading down there okay so when you've installed all of the things you want go ahead and close down your browser open the file explorer and go into the downloads folder okay so the things you want to drag to your desktop are open iv setup which is named oiv setup.exe holding control and click with your left mouse button on open iv setup next thing you want to drag to your desktop is eup law and order which has some numbers underscore eup lo the version number and then dot oiv click on that and then the eup menu underscore release dot zip is the eup menu continue holding in control and click with your left mouse button over there now when you have highlighted all of those holding your left mouse button over one of those files that are highlighted drag them out to your desktop when when it says move to desktop release and then they should get moved to your desktop if they don't get moved to your de desktop just right click and hit refresh so the th first thing we're going to be installing is actually open iv because we need it for installing eup menu go ahead and double click ovi setup or exe select your language if you understand russian you can select that i don't understand russian so i'm gonna uh, select english then the user license agreement will pop up read through those if you want then click i accept the terms of agreement if you accept them then continue check in the create desktop icon you can uh, delete it after but uh, in the tutorial i recommend you have it on your desktop and then just choose a place where you want to install open iv I'm just gonna have it on the default place Then click continue And then it will pop up Do you wanna install it? Click yes and Then once the installation of uh, OpenIV has been completed successfully If it was successfully If it does, wasn't successfully Comment it down below And I will try my best to help you out Then close that down Double click the OpenIV Go down to the Grand Theft Auto 5 And click Windows And then you have to find your GTA 5 directory The thing you wanna do is click browse And then uh, you will come in to the file explorer Paste your GTA 5 directory path in here here if you know what it is or find it in the files then when you when you're in the gta5 directory i'm 
currently right now and I'm in the Epic Games one. Then click select folder. Then we'll say successfully GTA.exe version uh, and then open up you can work in this file. If not, please comment down below and I'll try my best to help you out. Then click continue. Then we'll say don't forget to get back up your original files before editing. You don't have to do it. The worst thing that can happen is that you have to reinstall uh, the whole GTA file. But I'm gonna show you how to make a mods folder which you also need to install EP menu. Then, then click continue. Now you come in here. The things you want to do now before you do anything else is click on tools and then go down to ASI manager and you'll come into these things. Make sure to click on install on all of these ones and when they're installed close that down. When you install the .asi it will make a mods folder for you but the thing you want to do now is close down OpenIV. I don't recommend you doing this in OpenIV because it won't ask you to replace things and it can ruin your whole GTA 5. So then go into the file explorer your GTA 5 directory and the thing you want to do now is right click on the update and click copy go into the mods folder and then click paste in here and this may take a while as uh, so go take something to eat and then when you come back it will uh, hopefully be done the reason why we made the mods folder is if you go into an edit in the update folder one small mistake you can make you have to reinstall your whole dt5 directory you don't want to risk it that every time you're gonna change how the vehicle looks how your outfits are it's where all the textures and stuff like that are and in this video we are changing Changing the textures, so we need that for this video. Okay, so now you installed OpenIV and made a mod folder, so you can delete the OpenIV installed file for your desktop. So the first thing we're going to installing is uh, AUP menu. Double click that. Make sure that you have WinRAR or 7-zip because that will make it easier to follow along. Then you come in here, click Files. Then you'll see Plugins and Rage nat Native UI. So go ahead and open your GTA 5 directory. And if you don't know how to open it, it will be a link in the description on how to open your GTA 5 directory. So the thing you want to do is hold in the left mouse button under these two things and drag around it and you see this blue thing. Drag it over these two so they will get highlighted in blue. Then hold in left mouse button over them. Then release them in the blank space of your GTA 5 directory. And it may ask you to replace the file and destination. Then click replace the file and destination. So now you've installed the menu but you don't have the textures to customize if you know what I mean. You have to install the EUP launch order to get the police outfits so now we've installed everything except for one thing eup law and order and the eup law and order is named uh, some numbers eup lo and the ver version number and then dot oiv which is an open iv file and if it's an open iv file you have to have open iv to install it go ahead and open up open iv click windows and you'll come in here if it's an OIV file. The thing you want to do is to see this thing under tools here. One blue dot, one red dot, and then one long green dot. You see that? Click on that. Because we have that OIV file on your desktop, you have to go from whatever file you're on right now when you got in there, then go to your desktop. And when you're on your desktop, you should see at least this OIV file. It may come up some other files, but it's only the OIV files which work. The one we're gonna do today is the EUPLO version number and then dot OIV. So click on that. Then you should see it down here and then click open. Then you call, come into this EUP law and order and whatever version it is. You can read through this if you want. Then click install. And uh, previously in this video we made a mods folder. So make sure to install it in your mods folder because if you install it in your mods folder uh, there's a thing in script hook that opens the mods folder whenever you have a mod but if you delete script hook it doesn't open so that's why you should install it in mods folder if you ever want to play a game without your textures and if you do something wrong in the game folder you, you will have to delete your whole GTA 5 directory select your mods folder and then you will want to confirm your installation and then click install and then when it's done installing you, you will come to this and it will ask you if you want to run your GTA 5 directory don't do it yet, we will open your GTA 5 in a little bit and we'll go through how to use EUP Manju. So close that down and close open IV down. So before we're done, go ahead and launch up Rage Plague Nook, hold in the shift key until this screen pops up or I think a Rage Plague Nook thing pops up down there and click on that so it will open, click on plugins and then you'll see the EUP Manju. So this is only if you install the EUP Manju. If you install EUP FR, it will already work. Then click load all plugins or check in the box for EUP. 
keep them and then click save and launch and then close down the rates plugin hook now we're gonna go through the how to use eep menu and epfr okay so you just load into a normal game of lspdfr gta5 but with eep menu and uh, so uh, first we're gonna go through the controls for eep menu so the controls for eep menu is f11 you get up the eep menu there's uh, e there's two packs for eep it's eep law and order and eep server and rescue so as you see here we have the wardrobe we can create a uh, character if you go into the wardrobe we can change it in here and you have a lot of uh, presets if you want armor you can just get some armor it, it has a little bit of realism to the game because uh, police officers usually have armor on them so there's less chance of them dying or they're in the EP law and order there's presets L there's a uh, so there's a lot of presets there's the military there's one for the military there's a lot of theories my favorite thing is that you have the sheriff I always wanted a sheriff but you couldn't get the sheriff because the agency sheriff you couldn't get anything for so, so that was how to use EP menu hope everything worked out for you if did please like this video and consider subscribing because for more of these uh, videos in this series next video in this series will be about how to install vehicle mods a vehicle mods is basically like a skin for the vehicle uh, different different uh, skins on how they look and stuff like that um, instead of the normal GTA 5 police car and so they get much cooler much better lights too if it's published it will be on the screen right now and uh, bye and I'll see you guys in the next one